Welcome back. We have a stuffed toys purchased for orphanage found toxic. We have hearse crashes into ambulance. No survivors. <laughs> Price of alcohol to increase by 60%. This is Atari Living Sacrifice. And as always, if you are enjoying this, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe. Wolf and Luckett got food poisoning. Expect to be in the hospital for the next five days. That just sucks no you cannot take the day off i just lost two of my best guys hiking in the woods disappeared i want to go help the search can i have the day off today no i drank too much i don't think i can hold it together today can i go home yes you may no oh my gosh oh my gosh everybody always is at the same time it's at the same time not one a day. Not like... Ah, oh, it's just how it goes, huh? Okay. How are we dealing today? What are we dealing with? What are we dealing with? We got, uh... Huh. Huh. <laughs> That's all I had to do. I see again. How was it? I don't know. The only thing you think of is that one right there. Doesn't sh it shows them being run off. I thought it, I thought it was like sitting on the corner or something. Maybe that's what it looks like after it was run off the street. But anywho. She's off today. Of course she's off today. Let's see what other investigations we got. Oh, not enough. But let's put more detectives on it now. Might as well put more detectives on it. Oh! An elderly woman has reported that children wearing hoodies have painted rude words on a nearby monument. Quando, you shall go. And I hope you die. Suicide threat. Teenage girl slipped past the skyscraper guards and found her way onto the roof. She's now standing on the edge. A guard called the police and said that she was afraid to approach the girl. You could tell that the girl is serious. If she was serious, she would have already done it instead of been standing there. I don't understand people. They're going to kill themselves. As, uh... As the guy from Matchbox 20 once said, you'd better end it quick before you lose all your nerve. <laughs> Trucker, another one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Everybody's killing themselves today. This is the day of suicide. The day of suicides. Don't, I'm not surprised. I probably shouldn't have sent him by himself. It's probably a bad idea. You caught? You caught her. What do you mean, caught her? Ah, another one. Yeah, I should have sent somebody else to the Quando. Pedestrian said that he saw a dark pickup careen into the sidewalk and hit two teenage skateboarders. He didn't even slow down. He just smeared those poor kids and kept driving straight ahead. The drunk freak. The drunk freak. We received a rambling call from a man who claims that he would turn home from work to find a huge cat sitting on his doorstep. He's growling like a Tyrannosaurus, stuttered the victim. Alright. That's probably like a, a huge pussy cat. Uh, Alright. 
Let's send some reinforcements. And I got nobody to fill on this one now. Dixon's not going by himself. Let's read it. Pen pensioner looked out her window and saw a crowd of naked people running through the streets. She didn't know what to think and called their neighbors who had also witnessed the outrageous spectacle. The women together called the police and demanded an immediate explanation. Let's send a paddy wagon. All right. Report, Catastrophic Rex. Yep. That's what I thought. Just a huge tabby cat. What? What? Come on. What were we, what were we so busy doing that we let the naked men run through the streets to get away for? And now nothing's going on, of course. Nothing. Alright, Sands needs help anyway, it's more important. Some punks learned the route and prepared an ambush. It's turning into Shua and we need all the help we can get. Probably should have sent Quan Do instead. He might die. These people might die. I'm gonna need them. Probably a bad idea to do what I just did. In fact, I'm pretty darn sure of it. Man. Looks like Varga let a bunch of angry punks off the leash, and now they're brawling with our men right outside this ice rink. There's a few dozen people in the brawls, so the police better step in and cool things off. Send some Kwando. Taekwondo. Please don't die, Hunter Grant Forbes. Oh, they didn't die. Good job. It's a shootout, though. It was a shootout. City Hall. People wearing white capes have gathered outside City Hall, demanding the return of the good old days of segregation and slavery in Freeburg. The crowd chanted, White is right. Some were seen carrying revolvers. This is not good. This is not good. Oh gosh. Manager reports an elderly man deliberately overturned the vegetable table and was refusing to pay for damages. Detain the offender. Well, I'll send Quan Do eventually. I'll send Forbes. She handles the elderly. She's professional. We're about to get some more investigations. Uh, unlawful assembly. Good. We wanted to send more people anyway. Report. Open the investigation. All right. Now, the secretary of prominent businessman Elvis Calvo reports. The unknown persons broke into her boss's office and threw him out the window. Okay. I saw a black sedan pull up in the building and two men, one in a raincoat, got out. They passed by me without saying anything. Mrs. Bronk, Miss Bronk. I heard the elevator and I turned and saw two scary men. I didn't see any weapons, but they made it clear they'd kill me if I got in their way. Or is this this Brunk? It could have been a robbery. Elvis had a safe in his office. Don't know what he kept inside of it. What is this? What is this picture of? Or is them pulling up? All right. Timothy Foster unemployed, but according to unconfirmed reports, he's a cleaner for the mafia. All right. Man, 
everybody's t it's gonna be all tomorrow huh gonna be busy tomorrow catching some catching some baddies lawful assembly ask the mafia to sell it bring to the police station all right Vicus Varga has been defeated, and his army of street punks and thugs has been broken. No one knows what happened to Vicus himself, but it doesn't matter now. He'll never show his face in this city again, except to probably kill me. All right, end of the day. Are we going to have some conversations with Mr. Sands? Nope, not yet. Maybe he'll pick me up in the morning. All right, y'all. I'm enjoying it. It's been moving right along. We'll see you on the next one. Keep moving forward.